Welcome to the Geek Easy. Sit back, grab a libation of your choice, and relax, because it's time to do some geek stuff in the Geek Easy. <laughs> Welcome to the Geek Easy, fellow geeks. Today we will be discussing the She-Hulk Omnibus by Peter David, published by Marvel Comics, and uh, duh, written by Peter David. Now, uh, I like some She-Hulk stuff. I've never been enough of a fan to, you know, by the floppies and all that. And I got I got the Savage She Hulk omnibus, which I think stopped reading about three quarters of the way through. Uh, I have uh, one of the epic collections of Burns, which I still need to finish. But I had heard so many good things about this, and I love Peter David's work. And I have to tell you, this book is worth the money. Uh, it is 75 bucks, and I think I just saw it on Amazon for like 48 so I think it's, yeah, it's on sale at the moment. So let's, let's give it um, just the front. This is the back. It covers uh, collecting She-Hulk, uh, the 2005 run, 22 to 38, She-Hulk Cosmic Collision, X-Factor 2005, uh, 33, 34, Sensational She-Hulk number 12, and then material from She-Hulk Sensational number 1. Written by Peter David and illustrated by Sean Hall and other people. Okay, so let's take the cover off. Here's the front. That is an awesome picture right there. And if you have to look, there's a little bit of, looks like, uh, there might be a little bit of red. So, you know, could make a joke that there might be a little bit more green than just the skin going on. Uh, boom. Uh, then you have the creative teams there. And then it just pops right into uh, the first issue. Which, wait a minute. Yeah. <clears throat> so this is the one with how, where it is her working as a bounty hunter. She's lost her law license. She is a bounty hunter working with the woman right there, who is a scroll. And is I, I keep wanting to pronounce it Jet Zia, and I know that's not the correct way to pronounce it, but that is her uh, her friend and partner, as in the sense of bounty hunting together. And this is post Civil War. Uh, she's disillusioned because of what happened with Bruce. And Captain America dying, and so we're working. She's working through that. Peter David does exceptional work on this, and he can just take any character that's maybe like languishing with uh, sales and all that, and do an an incredible run. Take the Hulk where he did with that whole uh, you know, Pantheon 
run and stuff like that, where you just his stuff is just way outside the box and it fits and it works. That's what she's doing with here. He's doing that, and he even brings in old partners. Um, uh, she helps with boss and. It's just very well written because, you know, Peter David is Peter David. His, he's doing his normal, exceptional job and making the stories interesting and fun to read. And for the most part, the art in here is really good. I mean, you saw that picture right there of her, of her old boss. You get, you know, I mean, you get, that may not be the best one. That's the next factor. Yeah. You get this. And then later on, they switch artists, and that part was a little bit lackluster in art. Because they, they changed, it was even changing the, the color. I mean, she, you know, in normally she's supposed to be jade. You know, Jay Giantess, but they made her a lot lighter in some of the work. And then they got back to the way it was supposed to be. So I recommend this book. I'm going to give it, excuse me, a 4.0 out of 5 just because there's certain things that I didn't like, like the change in art styles and you know, a couple of stories that I didn't like as much, but uh, I'm going to go to 4.0 out of 5 and say, if you're a She-Hulk fan, pick it up. If you're a Peter David fan, pick it up because you will enjoy. Anyway, let me know in the comments below whether you read it or not and what you thought of it, and like, subscribe, and most of all, enjoy your comments.